the fastest into the corner. And good God almighty, what was that? What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to Fire Pro Wrestling World. Fire promoter on the PC with the mods, middle of the week. And we're not booking Team Hell No versus Freaks and Peaks just yet. Kane's neck is not great. I don't want him getting injured. So that's our main event for tomorrow, is that heavyweight tag team matchup. So before that, speaking of Kane... We have Kane who wants more money, and so does Brock Lesnar, and I'm sure somebody else wants to get paid much, much more. So guess what? It is Get A Raise Day here on VFG. Y'all can get some raises and make some more money. Where in the blue hell is Brocky Boy, who's making probably the most here in VFG? So... He's up there, but again, A-A-B-A. -A -A. He is a top-tier talent anywhere he goes in the world, so that is unsurprising. So, that means who else? I'm sure somebody else, Rey Mysterio, the masked superstar, the gamote, if you will, wants some more money. So, yes, Rey, we'll pay you more. Bump you up here to 2231. Just, you know, be happy. Be chill. Seriously. Who else? Who else? Who else? Personal, who else? Bowser. Not happy. Yeah, Bowser, eh. I think it's iffy on, on him uh, being that popular. But, you know, we'll get the job done here. I don't want anybody who has a belt leaving the company and pulling in Alundra Blaze. Please. We obviously got lucky with Adam Cole. When he quit, he had no title. So, that was fine. But, Mr. Bowser. He does have the S-tier trust, which is good. So, we'll pay you a bit more here, Bowser. There we go. He trusts this beardness. And I have to wonder, who does not trust this business? Alright. Kiryu, our champion, is an A, not an S. That's not good, but hey. As long as you're not in, like, the B and C territory. Alright, Tanahashi is still in the C territory for some reason. And Tana has two belts, so that's worrying. Um, but I think they only quit when they're like a D, unless it's kind of a random thing, I don't know. So, generally, our truth needs more money. Generally, we have a pretty good Daniel Bryan. Uh, what? Uh, alright, look. 38. Like I said, it's payday here. It's payday. Y'all can get raises and stay happy. Don't worry. Be happy now. So, it's wild that we have a pretty happy roster overall outside of the Ace of the Universe. We'll pay you 30 grand. Don't go nowhere, Ace. Don't go nowhere. So we have our usual offering of a contract, and we just stole from SmackDown Elias, so that's pretty cool. But we also want to loan out here, and that'll be, you know, interesting to do that. Is there anybody on NXT? Kazuchika Okada, he is an S tier on NXT, unfortunately. Garza, Kushida, Cameron Grimes to the moon. Balor Club for everybody is an A. Uh, Fondango's legs are jacked up. He's an S tier in America and a C everywhere else. And Swerve is Swerve. AEW. Is there anybody at AEW? I still really want Stone Cold just because he's Stone Cold. Like, there are only two guys that I put into this game that are not currently wrestling in the free agency and that is stone cold and cm punk everybody else i put in here at the start of this thing was currently working in a company somewhere so nathan drake is here also riddle and ace austin and diener wesley dave crest is a champion i think he's their junior champion i might want that belt here at some point if i can invite dave but you know cowboy snake a a s s and A for Caleb. And then free agents. So, again, I'm going to try. We almost got Steve last time. And he did come work our show that one time. And he worked the show and was beaten by Elias. So perhaps he's angry enough now to want to come work here. And stump a mud hole in Elias and walk it dry. So, Steve. 95000 Steve. Think of the money. Think of the fans. And does not... Man, look, all right, that's, we're not talking to Steve anymore. Man, 
waste of a spot here on this fine Wednesday. But let's head in here and back out, check out our gym, fix up our sandbag, and then book our show, shall we? I've decided I really can't compete at the end of year five in terms of money. I'm at like half of where Raw is at. I'm, I'm not going to get to 100 million by the end of the year, end of the week. It's not going to happen. But, you know, there is that, so I'm going to compete how I can here by stealing titles and having, you know, the best and happiest gym, superstars, etc, etc. Let's book our show today. Let's actually not. Let's loan out because we want to get good with Impact and they're indifferent and they have Matt Riddle and Dave Chris, those two titles at Impact of their four belts. So, Impact, would you like to borrow... Nemesis. Yes, alright. We've done that. I think we're good with uh, Raw as normal. Oh, SmackDown is back to being indifferent. Uh-uh. I need Cesaro and his title. So SmackDown, how about you borrow King Corbin? And there we go. Alright, so those two are out for that. Let's invite some talent for this show as we continue to work Europe and do that thing. So of course, we're going to invite the Big Show from Raw. He is the champion on Raw. No deal. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. Cesaro on SmackDown. No deal. How about over on Impact? That would be uh, Matt Riddle. Nope. And that would be Dave Christ. You were two champions on Impact. And all right. We got one more title to steal today, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Now... Free agency. Let's see who we can bring in for this show. Let's see who is massively popular, perhaps. Otis is an ABBC. That's pretty good. And he's only 10 grand. So we got a deal. Bring in Otis. He's coming. Uh, Chad Gable is BCDC, which is not bad for two grand. Pretty cheap. So we've got in the Alpha Academy here, which is pretty good. Champa, BCCC, uh, C, D, 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 let's see, he, 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 Jake Hager, two grand, he's a good hand to have, the big hurt in the building, MJF, I would love to get, but he's not a fan, he's definitely better than us, and we know it, um, who else here in America would be a popular hand to get, I'm not bringing in Stone Cold, he doesn't want to work here, I mean, I get it. It's a very rough and tumble, strong style, and his neck's not great, so I understand that whole thing. But, you know, you know. Can we get Gulak and the Gulak? Nope. No Gulak. Sorry. Ain't gonna happen. We fired Jinder here. Andrade. I mean, look. That's a lot of money for Andrade. I'm sorry. I can't afford that AEW pay for Andrade. Not happening. Pikachu is very popular here. And Pikachu is here. Alright. Mega Man. How about Mega Man? Mega Mania? Nope. Not happening. Um, I'm sure I can get Mega Ran, but not Mega Man. Nakamura, obviously, is up there. There we go. And one more. One more. Uh, that's, he's D's across the board there. Ishii is, yeah, alright. Let's, I just want... Minoru Suzuki is a B-A-B-B. -B -B. So, not interested in working our style. Unfortunate, but that is what it is. So, you know, I want some more A's in here. A, but not a whole lot of A's in here from people who are not scumbags. So, yeah, all right, we're good. Let's book our event here. Because the match that I want to see in this event that uh, is the world's longest standing grudge match is, you know it and I know it, Mario and Sonic are both working here now in VFG. And I can put them head to head in a match today. Now, that's not necessarily main event caliber for what we're working here on this show in Europe, but that's the match we're going to watch today because I want to see it. So, McIntyre defends the new Japan title against Brock Lesnar. Yes, indeed, Brock wants more gold, because it's Brock freaking Lesnar, wouldn't you know? Now, and our title to steal here from Impact, Dave Christ here will defend up against... 
who might be good enough to beat him. Perhaps Ali is good enough to beat him. Nah. Kofi Kingston is better. So we want Kofi two belts on this show. Now, who else do we bring in here to work a show? That is freelance talent to keep our guys healthy. Uh, we brought in Otis. So we'll have Otis go one on one with Elias. Sure. And then after that, we will have Chad Gable going one on one. We of a Joker. Let's see if we can't have Luigi defend that VFG Junior title against that boy Murphy. Because, you know, easy match there for Luigi. Easy night, perhaps. We'll see. We also brought in somebody by the name of uh, Shinsuke Nakamura. And Nakamura, honestly, I'm going to have Nakamura fight Pikachu. Because that's just funny to me. The King of Strong Style versus the King of Shock Style uh, should be a good match. I hope. So, we're at half full here in this venue. It is what it is. Bring in Dante. He's all green. He is a lean green machine, thankfully. And Dante fights Banjo. And move on from there. We will have... Let's see who else is on this card and healthy. Mysterio. Goes one on one with R Truth. And like I said, we are booking that Mario and Sonic match, and we're gonna watch that match. So, Mario, who's a little bit injured here, but okay, is no longer that NXT champion, losing to the ace yesterday. And Mario, against his bitter rival, the most bitterest of rival, and then his friend at some point in the Olympics, because whatever. But Mario and Sonic going head to head in VFG full house for this card, for this show, but one more match to book. And who else we have here on our right? Hager, I forgot about Hager. Hager, the big hurt, will open the show and we want to have them big meaty men something meat. So Hager and Bowser. Big dudes getting it done. Can I increase the price here to 60? Eh, you're gonna lose some here. Can I increase the venue size to large? It's 13 out of 25 at 20 bucks? No, that's 20. Well, yeah, all right. That's, that's pretty up there. That's pretty up there. 22 out of 25. The whole point is bigger and bigger venues uh, to make us, you know, more, more, more popular here over in Europe is the plan. So, confirming the match card. Obviously, we end the week in America in that big arena for our big show at the end of the year. Because, you know, so that was 22,000 in attendance, which means we have to get some merchandise for them. And yeah, we didn't sell all them shirts last time, so that sucks. That sucks. But we need them. So I'm going to make 3,000 shirts. I'm going to make 3,000 towels. I'm going to make 1,000 photos. Limited edition. I'm going to make 1,000 DVDs. I'm going to bring in um, some goods here at 3K. And I'm going to say snacks at 5K. Look, if you have 22,000 in the building, 5K snacks should sell out. I'd like to think so. But I could be wrong. I'm wrong a lot. So, that being said, we are, I think we're good here for the event. I think we can proceed to watch Sonic and Mario go at it for the first time in a long time. So, yes, let's make that happen. Let's do the dang thing, if you will. It is now October, heading towards the end of the year. Okay, I'm going to get my pen and my pad and to see how things play out in this not quite full capacity, but pretty close here in this larger arena in Europe. What do we got? It will be... Bowser losing to the Big Hurt, Jake Hager. So Bowser is 17 and 18. Putting that pad down already because we got to watch this match here. So a grudge match rivalry for the ages. Coming out first, we have the Blue Blur, the Hedgehog. He's got an attitude. It's Sonic. And he is definitely faster than Mario. He contains blast processing here, and he is ready to 
take on Mario with that tood, if you will. But we have the original video game mascot, the first ever VFG champion of the world. It's a him. It's a Mario. And a worldwide superstar to be sure. But can he take down Sonic with his power? This is definitely a power versus speed matchup. A thousand percent. It's a him. It's a Mario. Here we go. So this one, I have no idea who might come out on top of this match. It is a total mystery. Who has the better game franchise? We're going to find out right here in VFG. Both men cautious. Well, one man, one hedgehog. And the arm drag from Mario countering the speed from Sonic. Sonic getting that arm drag again. He just can't catch Mario off guard just yet. Very cautious. Slap to the face. The Sonic can stomp to the gut. And there we go. Off to the ropes. And Sonic just slaps him across the face. And kicks him right in the dome. As hard as he possibly can. Those, those feet of Sonic. Drop down. And an arm drag from himself. Alright. This is just some back and forth wrestling. But Sonic's feet are obviously the fastest. Into the corner. And good God almighty. What was that? Sonic. The blur. I couldn't even see it. It happened so fast. Good lord. But Mario, if he can get the power game in here, he might be able to survive the shooting star press 2.9. A standing shooting star press is impressive from Sonic. And Mario whip just whips it. And there it is. A slap to the face. Run. That's a rope break. That's a rope break. Sonic off the second rope into that senton and the 630 onto Mario. Rolls him up. Stacks him up. In a 2.9. The power of Mario is still too much for Sonic. But Sonic Man. Uh, Hurricanrana. 2 and 3. And just like that. It wasn't going to last long. 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Sonic is your winner of this contest. Good lord. That was fast. Sonic goes over Mario with a Frankensteiner in 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Sonic is now 2 and 1. Whereas poor Mario is 11 and 22. Man, he just can't catch a break in VFG. Alright, moving on. We have more matches to see in this show. So, R Truth and Ray Mysterio. Deliver us a pretty good matchup and Ray beats our truth. So Mysterio is 12 and 4, and our truth is 10 and 17. The roll up, man. It'll get you every time. So, Banjo and Dante. Bear versus uh, the guns. So the diving out of there from Dante in a not so great matchup in 649. Dante didn't even hit his Dante moves, but Dante is 23 and uh, 13, whereas a Banjo is 13 and 9. Come on, guys. Pick it up. Better matches here. So, Pikachu versus Nakamura. Neither man works here. King of Strong Style versus King of Shock Style. What do we got? What is the conclusion here? A terrible match here. And Nakamura beats Pikachu, hits that Kinshasa. Sure. All right. That was not good for our overall card here. We're down to 80%. Can you save us, Luigi and Murphy? Please, save us with a higher match quality. Eh, better, but we have a new champion here. Murphy finally gets it done and is the new BFG Junior Champion pinning Luigi. I am shook. That means Murphy is four and three. And uh, Luigi, actually lost here, I'm shocked. Luigi is 16 and 11. Okay, new champion crown. Murphy, that junior champion. Good for him, man. Good for him. He deserves it. Now, Joker and Gable. I would want an absolute clinic here being put on by these two. Here's hoping. Gable with the German suplex and a great match with Joker. So look, he lost. But it's a great match, so I'll take it any day of the week. And Joker is now 21 and 14. So, alright, cool. So, 
Elias and Otis. Can Elias uh, continue to be undefeated here on the show against uh, Otis? And yes, he can. He's spinning Dr. Bomb on Otis in a good match. Elias is 2-0. and zero. Undefeated is the Drifter. And Otis, thanks for showing up. Appreciate it. We're getting our match rating up here up to 83. So we have two more matches. And one of them is involving stealing the belt. What do we got here between Kofi and Dave Christ from Impact? Can he take that title from Dave? Yes, he can. Trouble in paradise. Boom, boom, boom. Kofi Kingston, the new Impact Junior Champion. Kofi Kingston is 10 and 11. And that is one more title at VFG. The match was not great. It drags us down to 82%. But the goal was stealing all the belts. So we're doing that. Now, main event. New Japan IWGP title. Brock Lesnar and McIntyre. Let's see what it's going to be. And McIntyre. Claymore's Lesnar. Just like real life. And it takes him out. Retains that title Sorry, Brock. Didn't work out for you this time. And so McIntyre is now 5 and 4, whereas Mr. Lesnar is 14 and 8. And a great match. That's Like I said, you want to have the best matches at the end of the card, the main event. And yes, they definitely delivered. So I appreciate that delivering. Thank you very much. Tomorrow, we have a tag team main event, and that is Team Hell No versus Freaks and Peaks. So Murphy, the new BFG Junior Champion, Kofi, the new Impact Champion, and Drew retained his title, and success. Not a great success, but a success. So look, I'll take what I can get. And nothing happened there, so okay, whatever. We're at $50 million in the bank. This brings us to November. So tomorrow, we're hitting up November. We found Star in Latin America. And Kratos, look, we need him for tomorrow. And McIntyre. The Big Show wants to fight here tomorrow. Isn't that convenient for me? Isn't that, yes, Big Show? That's really funny. So that's tomorrow. Who can beat the world's largest athlete? Uh, we're going to find out tomorrow. And man, that's going to be fun. So Team Hell No versus Freaks and Peaks. And Big Show defends that raw title against somebody tomorrow. Whoever I have that is at the top of the list there. That's not like Kratos. So, perhaps Lesnar, I don't know. We'll find out then, tomorrow. Tune in, I'm a tax slug. See you next time, and I'm out.